that is called Omolo. So what this trick is, she gives you this, this thing that you can actually use to tie the, the, the firewood. The firewood. So look on the open. Is the chicken side? Jenny? Mm -hmm. Oh, now you love what you're in a nanny, in a better nanny. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Elizabeth and yeah, today I'm actually doing, uh, I'm busy cooking lunch, but yeah, um, so I just want to start actually to start this episode here and I really can't believe that yesterday I was in Ethiopia and today I'm like already in the village and busy with the work on the ground. So I'm busy cooking people lunch and we just arrived like two hours ago yesterday when I landed in Windu from Ethiopia, I was in Rwanda now for the whole of last week and today i'm here in the village so i'll be doing more of these episodes um here in the village just to show you guys about the village life our village lifestyle so this is how this is the view and the first thing this is how we cook in the village so we are cooking for the whole family and we have that's why i'm cooking in this big pot and in um, and an open fire so yeah so yeah you see me wearing a suit that um, on the day you are seeing the wedding day so this is actually my kind of original lifestyle this is where we we can go wherever we are going but we still have to come back to our origin to our village and do the things that we uh and do continue doing the things that we've been doing ever since we were young so yeah so here i am actually cooking oshifima and oshifima is our traditional um famous food let me say so Oshifima, other in other culture people call it ugali. In Angola people call it bombo, but then we use different type of flowers to actually make this um pap. So our pap is made with a mahango millet flour. Mahango millet flour that is the one that is pounded. You can either pound it manually, uh, like the way you do in a swambo culture, or you can pound it like with a machine to use to make flowers and and all that so this is now the flour and the and this is now the porridge and the porridge you can actually eat it with stew so st you can eat it with this stew chicken stew any type of stew that you will like that you prefer you can actually eat it with this porridge so in the porridge made with mahango porridge i can say oh, it's, it's actually the best so let me say pop it's actually the best yeah, and it's think, really yeah. really really wow oh, it's really nice it's really nice so this is actually the famous staple food um staple food in a shawamba culture this is the famous or the major uh dish actually you will be served with in most places when you visit on a shawamba house especially in the evening or sometimes like in the afternoon so either lunch or dinner you will eat or she is giving this she wants again but she didn't yet finish this one Did you bring your laptop or something? Oh, and then, I was feeling hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's fine. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let's go check it. So we are going to collect firewood. And that is Juliana is in front. Say hi to the people. Hi. What is your name? Julia. Julia. What are we going to do? You're going to collect firewood. Yes. Okay, now let's go. Show me the way. Yes. Okay, so we are passing through then. Eh? You guys are always changing the crows. The last time I was here in December, the crow was the other side, that open area. That's where it was. And now it's actually this side. So, so this is the chicken side. This is the chicken side. Chicken. Yeah, and this is this. Uh, they have the goods. You can bring the rabbit. Yeah, but I'm not eating. Maybe I should be. Happy to have you. Oh, now what? Oh, happy to have you. Do you have it? Two more. Happy to have you. Oh, now you love to have you. Na 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 pata na ninga pana. I must do this. Let's remove the things. Then we'll open it. Oh! Look at this. Let's put it in the pussy. Huh? Let's put it in the pussy. Let's put it in the pussy. Let's put it in the pussy. Now, I'll put it in the pussy. Let's put it in the pussy. Eh. 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 Look the goat. I see you. Another version of me, Elizabeth when in town, but this is the real me. This is my real face. This is how I look like, and this is what you must expect to see every day. And this is our. We don't take any for this. This is our other side where the cows and what what stay. I saw goat. Yeah, we have goats. We have cows. We have uh, chickens. Donkey and donkeys as well. Yeah. We have wood because less. Love, firewood. So, I've collected the firewood and now we have to look for the roots. We actually tie the firewood because we have not come with any ropes. Now we have to make a plan. So, if somebody in the village, in the, in Okongo, you don't need any ropes and you don't need any what food to actually tie, you don't need to come anything. Because the the plants um we have in this plant. So we have this tree that is called Omono. So what this tree gives you gives you this this thing that you can actually use to tie the tie the firewood the firewood and you can actually make this to actually put between the fire the firewood so that when you put in your head it doesn't I come. So not, are you not fun, is it? No. Can you see me? Yes. I see you. Ah, but this one's not giving me the best of ropes. This one's not giving me the best of ropes. So you need to check, like which one? That one you give me. Yeah, this one. 
Not tearing nice. So if they are short like this, you can just tie them together. Instead of wasting them. So you just tie them together. And then you need to make it really a long row. The good thing is they don't break that easily. Because yes, very strong. So it's too short. Pick the another one. Yes, it's small. But yours is not enough. Yes, mine is enough. These ones are too kind of too big and too. They are not yet. You know, when the rain rains. It kind of makes them soft and like you can just get like a big of long ropes and strong ropes. But these ones they are still also the trees. Yeah, the trees are still kind of dry. That's why they are not giving me like big big ropes. So I think these ones are enough. So let me tie my firewood. So now Long big. Yeah. I hope we are finished now. We can go and cook. Yes. The things are still falling. I'm saying your firewood is still falling clear. So this is me with my firewood. I did not actually take a... Uh... Okay. So these are my firewood. As you can see. And they are only tied with the natural ropes we got from the tree. So here in the village, you don't have to suffer. So we have to go in the house. So this is where we put our fire inside because it's the rainy season. We have to put them inside here. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. So, this is just how we collect our firewood in the wood in the village. This is how we make, uh, make our cooking process as well. So we don't have stoves, we don't have any electricity like in the village. So we have the cook like on, on open fire. So 
you have to collect firewood you bring them and then you do now the cooking process so yeah i'll be you will be seeing more of these videos of the village of our village lifestyle and yeah thank you so much for watching and if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button of this youtube channel please consider subscribing and do like this video so that it also helps with our youtube algorithm so we have to work as much as much as possible please so that we are able to monetize this youtube channel and yeah to be able to bring you more better content with more better video quality and all that so yeah see you guys in the next video bye another day another adventure so today i'm actually headed to the local shop